Wow. So that would be, to me, that's, that's about power, right? And so the power is not just in um, pay equity, right? The power is not just in, uh, I'm going to butcher these statistics, but there was a report that was recently conveyed to me that in the time that we've been keeping track of Fortune 500 CEOs, there have been hundreds, and either 17 or 37 have been women. Okay, so you're talking, we're not just talking about an imbalance of power, we're talking about an imbalance of resources. But more importantly, we're talking about an imbalance of decision-making capacity. And I think that that's where we really would, uh, we, we'd shift uh, the whole paradigm of how, we, of how we interact with each other as individuals, but also on a national level. You know, and that there's a lot of talk lately about war and a lot of talk about how uh, the Iroquois Confederacy and some of these older models, these, these models that preceded what we call democracy or capitalism today, um, and that, you know, in those societies that the country, the, the, the tribe, the nation couldn't even go to war. Like the men couldn't even make that decision. The women had to make that decision because they were the ones that were losing children. And so imagine that kind of paradigm, you know, with what's going on now in Iran. Imagine that kind of paradigm with, with how we choose to stay or not stay in Afghanistan. Um, if we stop putting guys in suits and generals in rooms and put uh, mothers in rooms, I imagine the decision outcomes would be a little bit different. So.